if Quist wins, it now muddies the water a little bit as to whether or not this is actually a right. function of, I mean, of course it is on some level, but it muddies the narratives that a lot of different people were, were invested in. Right. It muddies the narrative of like, you need a, a populism Bernie style approach to win. Right. It muddies the water of there's a big anti-Trump backlash here that's uh, signaling a wave. And if you are voting with Donald Trump and you're in one of those districts, either that voted for Clinton or were just simply close elections, um, you're in trouble. It muddies that water, so that which is interesting to yeah, me. Yeah, it makes it a unique race kind of uh, that you can't draw a lot of conclusions from. I, I mean, a couple things. From everything I know about the race, and I don't know a ton, uh, Quist was running almost entirely on a message on health care. He was r running on the, re the American Health Care Act. He was running on the Republican bill. Um, so that's number one. Number two, I, I, even the most optimistic uh, uh, reports that I've seen were that Quist had narrowed the race to single digits or right. two points. I had never seen public or private any kind of polling showing him winning. Right. So if he wins, I think you have to take into account this late in the game uh, assault. <laughs> but the fact <laughs> he that he was that close, yes, it, can be. It, it's it, 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 yes, it's important because this is a seat that Trump won by twenty points. Right. Uh, this is a, a state that Trump Trump won by twenty points. Of course, Gianforte lost when Trump won. Uh, he was running for governor, right, against Steve Bullock, and and lost. And and you know Gianforte has been running in this state for like a year, nonstop, you know, from the governor's race all the way through to this race. When Ryan Zinke gets out, that's, I mean, that's very early on. Uh, so he's almost been, you know, in a perpetual I, campaign, and that probably led to what happened. I was going to say, I feel like he may have wanted to start just a day later. Because <laughs> the time for him to have that explosion. Now, then the other point is, is that the reason, the thing that pushed him over the edge was having to answer a question of, in fact, maybe we should, do we have that audio? Can we play that audio now, the Quist audio? I mean, the, uh, yeah. the, the Gianforte uh, audio? In, in fairness to, to Gianforte, I get really mad about congressional budget office scores, like furious. You get, so. I've seen you <laughs> react to CBO scores, and you're It's just, something that sets me off. It just drives you absolutely nuts. All right, here is the audio, and this is important because one of the other stories that's going to come out of this, particularly if Gianforte loses is going to be the Health Care Act literally it's, caused yeah. his loss. It's like literally even, toxic. Yeah. It, it's, it, it just destroys him. All right, let's, let's listen to it. Now, what you're going to be hearing is the, um, the, the recorder of Ben Jacobs. He is a reporter for The Guardian. I think we've had him on um, maybe once or twice over the years. A British reporter, as, <laughs> as many have said. Well, he's even though he's, he's, he's from he, Baltimore. Right, he's yeah. being attacked because he works for a British paper doing... Uh, a foreign correspondent right. meddling a, in our elections. As opposed to, the, of course, <laughs> um, all of Fox owned by an Australian. Uh, right. But, but right. be that as it may... Here is um, uh, here is th that audio, and and the, just to give you the sense of the scene, Fox the Fox News, National Fox News is is setting up to do an interview They're with in the Brett room. Bear, and uh, they've actually come out with some of the most damning testimonies to what happened because they they play it totally straight. So here's uh, they're in there for the interview, and uh, apparently Ben Jacobs sees him and has been for a while trying to get him to answer the question about where do you stand on the health care bill. And Gene Forte has been saying, I need to see the CBO score before. I know. I, 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 and sadly, it came out before his election. C <laughs> so. CBO's, their, their dates, the date of their release just totally messed up. Totally Forte. messed up. CBO score, because you know you were waiting to make your decision about health care until you saw the bill and it just came out. And, what yeah, you and thought we'll about talk it. to you about that later. Yeah, but there's not going to be time. I'm just curious if you okay, have the speak right with now. Shane, please. But you don't have to. Sick and tired of you guys. The you last time you came in here, you did the same thing. Get the hell out of here. Jesus. Get the hell out of here. The last guy did the same thing. You were the guardian? Yes, and you just broke my glasses. You the last guy did the same damn thing. You just body slammed me and broke my glasses. Get the hell out of here. 
If you'd like me to get the hot up, I'd also like to call the police. Can I get you guys' names? Hey, you gotta leave. He just body slammed me. You gotta leave. <laughs> I mean... Sometimes those voice recorders really, you know, any kind of movement that it makes a lot of noise. So, you know, that could be that. Two things occurred to me just in terms of like... Uh, was that an Olympus or was that a sharp <laughs> voice recorder? This What's the is... kerning on that? <laughs> exactly. Um, well, two things occurred to me. One is um, I think every reporter who is using a recording device should be using a... Like, why not just shoot the video of it, too, simultaneously? Well, if you're using a phone, you right. can certainly do that. Um, you know, a lot of report... You, I have one. Uh, yeah, the these, digital these recorders. Di little digital recorders, and it's... They're super easy. It's easier. Yeah. It, they're smaller. They're, they're You don't have to focus or do anything. Right. You just, you know... And if somebody he, slams uh, it, he, you're not breaking your phone. What the, <laughs> the, the campaign said was he aggressively shoved the recorder into... Uh, Gianforte's face. It he would have been. I think I would believe that more if Gianforte would have said like, "Don't aggressively shove that in my face." Um, but well, that's now sounds, been put on later. That's sound, been added to the audio. It does sound like a, just a, just so bizarre. Yeah. Uh, and and clearly, it just they, sounds like a guy on the edge. He's, yep. he's been, as I said, running for a year. He's he's just done with this. He just wants to get his cushy little thing. He's like he's from Jersey. And he's like some tech guy from Jersey yep. who moved to Montana uh, years ago. It's like probably has a summer home there or something. And he just he just wants his he just wants his sinecure. He just wants his nice seat in Congress. And he really didn't want to answer that question of health care. And I think yeah. like you know one of the things that will come out of this if if Gianforte loses is that narrative is going to take off absolutely because it's so perfect. I mean, one, it's true. We had the CBO score. You've got 23 million Americans who are going to be out of health care. I saw this stat from Sarah Cliff. In states, and just to, to remind people, the dynamic is this. States can, can basically take a waiver right. and opt out, if you will, of the baseline of what constitutes insurance. So we no longer have to um, have insurance as a product that we all know is in health insurance. We can start selling cars essentially without motors and call them cars. Right. Well, this is this is this actually goes back to what it the, what the state of the individual market was before the Affordable Care Act, where there weren't there were state based standards, but you know some of them were worse than others, and and there was a lot of insurance where you know it was kind of if you got hit by a bus it would help you but otherwise not so much now two things i wanted to say about that one is that dynamic happened pre-obamacare but what also existed then was federal rules that said you cannot you have to be based in that state to have access to their um their their set of standards right when Obamacare passed, that rule basically changed. Mm -hmm. And so now if I'm in a company in New York right. and Alabama now says, we we just took a waiver, that means that you can uh, almost deny uh, pre-existing conditions. It means that um, you know rescission is on the books. There's an annual cap. There's a lifetime cap. If I'm in New York now as an employer, I can yes. actually just basically yes. say, I'm going to run it through Alabama. This is very important. Hey, Sam Cedar here. Uh, folks, you probably heard about the whole uh, YouTube uh, advertiser apocalypse. Well, we're suffering from it, too. We need your help. If you want to keep this show alive, you want us uh, to be able to still put out uh, clips on a regular basis, head over to our Patreon page. Here's the link right here or down below there. And uh, just give us a couple bucks a month uh, and support this program. Really appreciate it.